Hey guys, hope you're all good. Welcome back to the channel. Now this video, the adventure is going to be slightly different. I'm going to be jumping in a boat and voyaging to the mouth of the river Dart. I hope you enjoy. Let's jump right into the video. So we started in a town called Totnes, which is where the river Dart becomes an estuary. We headed south down towards the English Channel. We wanted to make it to a beach called Blackpool Sand marked by the pin. This is all in the very southwest of the country. So we've got the boats to the push-in point and we're setting sail in T minus two minutes. So it's all getting a bit exciting. Boating team, how are we feeling? Oh. <laughs> Mixed reaction there. Not not it's so nice confident. To be outside. So we've got a big canoe, which is three people really, and then we've got a little kayak. I don't have to take any of the weight and I just get to zoom around. Which is exactly what I wanted really. Lift off. Here we go. Setting sail. Bon voyage! Now it's my turn to set sail. Boating adventure, we are off. Got the crew up, up ahead of me. I'm in the water, I'm in the nice sea kayak. Uh, river kayak, sorry. And um, I've got the spray deck, so if I flip over, then I just have to roll back up, um, which is okay. But yeah, they're storming it. I need to catch up. Hold on. while now and we are getting quite tired so we're just going to look for a place to camp on the side we found a nice little camp spot right by the river perfect Laurie's um, forgot a only got a sleeping bag, so we've got an idea. Dave fan's going to kindly model the the idea. YouTube lovely night to sleep as far as wild camping goes that was up there night one spot loading up the boat now just about to cart off just stopping for some breakfast now um it's been going about an hour and a bit it's nine o'clock it's low tide um just past high tide so it's a perfect time to wait for the tide to go down a bit the tide's on about a six hour cycle so we always need to set off at high tide and when it's going from high to low it's the best to go out of the sea and when we're coming back is the other way around so it's interesting to think about that um, it's not something that I'd normally think about when we decide to get up is 
based on the tides, which is based on the moon and when we decide to stop for a break. It's based on the tides because we can't get out of the water at low tide because it's too far to lug the boats out. The mighty Shira to protect us on the front of the boat and the mighty Royal Ensign for the back of the boat, just so people know what we're all about. Come say hi to our new boat mascot, Shira. Hey Shira. <laughs> Setting off down to the shops. Next stop, Dartmouth. Getting quite close to the sea now. The air's getting quite salty. Lovely. <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. Stopping in Dartmouth for lunch, and we've put tied the boats up, but it's a bit precarious. We put one boat on top of the other and attached it to someone else's boat. So we're kind of hoping that this person is having a longer lunch than us. Otherwise, he's going to be a bit annoyed that we attached our boats to his. All good though. It's a beautiful little dock. Just packing up our stuff and going for some lunch. You wouldn't believe it, just as we leave, the guy I was talking about comes He's alright about it though, he's just gonna attach our um detach his our boat from his. We're lucky that he's a nice guy because we attached our boat to his. But he was nice about it and he gave us a tip and wished us a good day. It's alright when you're when you're polite and smiley, anything can happen. <laughs> We've reattached our boats. Still looking a bit precarious, but we're hoping that no one steals them. So we've just gone out onto the sea and it was a bit choppy, so I couldn't, I didn't risk filming anything, but it's all been worth it because we've made it to a cove where only boats can go. There's no road to this cove, so it's so quiet. Um, there's a few, there's a, there's a speedboat over there. Um, there's a few kayakers, but it's all worth it. We're now deciding whether this weather, because at the moment it's low tide. So we're deciding whether this cove is gonna exist at high tide. If there is, if it does exist, then we might sleep here, um, but we don't wanna get cut off by the tide. Perfect, we've made the decision. The seaweed line is here and there's still space on the other side of the seaweed line so we know that the high tide is not gonna sweep us in our sleep. The designers of this boat have absolutely outdone themselves. Look what they've put in. <sighs> so now we have nice cool beers on a cove of our own. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted.
after a few beers, Stefan and I decide we want to voyage back to Dartmouth to watch the United West Ham game in the pub. We've watched the football. Yes. And we've got back. And the beach has disappeared. Remember the beach I was on? That's it now. That's it. But high tide is, is on us and we're back home. And it's time for dinner. Check this out. We are very tired now. End of day two. Spilt oats everywhere. We are out on the sea. This is a risky move for me because I don't want to have my phone out on the sea because it's quite tippy. But it's worth it because look at this. <laughs> Stay fans flat on the sand. Laurie's still going. That was a big effort to get around this cove. There's a big headland and we we're out on the sea and tide was coming in and we all just absolutely went for it for about an hour, so Shattered. Here's Laurie coming in at last. Jeez! Just recovering from our morning sesh. Crikey. We're shattered. But we need to wait now for a few hours for low tide, so we've got our stuff out to dry. Just gonna chill on the beach for a bit. Just, just what the doctor ordered. We are going to storm it to Dartmouth now because the tide has changed. So it's all action stations go. I fell asleep on the beach and I'm recharged. How are we feeling, team? Yeah. I think the rest of the adventure squad has a bit of recharging to do. <laughs> Like most of my video logs are stopping for food but we are doing some distance between the food I promise. <laughs> Unfortunately it's starting to rain. Can't always get lucky with the weather. Four hours and we're just going to storm it back but with the tide and we're just picturing dinner and a hot shower at home so on order last entry now so we're speeding home if the last if the next entry isn't us at home then something's gonna go on something's gone wrong despite the rain we then zoom home back in time for tea have a nice long shower and a well-earned rest that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it very fun to make i recommend doing that sort of thing yourself if you get the opportunity feel free to like and subscribe and leave your comments on what adventures you want me to do next peace out